I want to transition a little bit to what this really means for Jokic's legacy. Um, I know I've been vocal about being like legacy gets too overblown. Mm-hmm. You know, when we have basketball discussions as fans or in the media, but this is the time where you really have to sit back and just like look at his resume, what he's been able to done, what he's been able to do. Um, and then also consider the fact that he's only 28. Like this is the prime of his career. Mm-hmm. He's got a lot of years left. And this feels very similar to the conversation that we like, us the media fans were all having about Giannis a couple years ago it's like exactly look at all that he's accomplished and he's just now in his prime like he just now is here the runway for both of these guys are putting them on that trajectory to say y'all have potential Giannis I think in a lot of people's eyes mine included honestly is like probably a top five player at his position ever Um, I think so and it's starting to, you know, etch his name to, you know, top 20, top 15 and try to get into that <laughs> range. And Jokic is on that trajectory right there looking at, you know, the best centers of all time, looking at trying to become one of the best players of all time. Um, and like I said, um, two MVPs now, a championship and a finals MVP. Um, this is big if you're a big legacy person like this is the start of that resume that is, is only going to continue to grow. Like he has multiple all NBAs, multiple all stars that he's going to continue to earn. And even if he doesn't want to play this crazy long career, if he only plays till he's 35, seven more years. Yeah. That's a lot of basketball left for um, one of the most dynamic and versatile and honestly unique bigs that we've ever seen play the sport of basketball one thing that's very very interesting when you bring up Giannis is the fact that like you said they're kind of at similar points low when you look at it all the time basically how you both they talked about they both have two MVPs they both won a championship both have a finals MVP uh, both have insane stat lines both being I think 28 and 27 years old so one thing that is really going to be interesting is the fact that these guys are going to compete against each other in their primes for, like you said, what, five to seven years going at it. I'm pretty – like, I think we can both agree that Giannis – I think he'll win another championship eventually. I think Jokic will win another championship eventually. But they could be on a course to, like they, – they could be playing each other. They could be battling out for those championships. I'd love to see that. A, a full-strength Bucks team, a full-strength – Nuggets, that series would be insane that for the people that think Giannis is still the best player in the league, for the people that think Jokic is the best player in the league, they could be battling out in the finals and really see who the best player on the planet is. So I, I just think for the years to come, these guys will have some insane battles. They'll both be putting knocks on each other's resumes. If they say they end up meeting in the finals, they one beats the other person, one beats the other person. I'm not, I'm not going to go as far to say like Magic Bird, but like depending on how their careers go Mm -hmm. this we could look back on this like 10 20 years later and be like wow like they're in there this is their era together and they were really battling it out you know what i mean so i think that's gonna be interesting uh moving forward but as far as Jokic and, and his legacy alone to me he's already a top six seven center of all time it's like it's hard to argue at this point. Like, yeah, because even it, like when you take the accolades out of it, like just looking at what he does on the court, like I said we've never seen a big man like this before. I'm mm-hmm. watching this dude catch the ball in the post, they're just throwing it up, and he's grabbing it over his head. And with like, he's not even looking, just like behind his back, he's throwing lobs like touch passes. Like, mm-hmm. it's so he has such a unique skill set and not only is it unique, but it's dominant. Like it is, he is one of the best playmakers we've ever seen. He just also happens to be seven foot two eighty. Exactly. Um, yeah. yeah. But like, like even think about the centers. I think right now, I mean, Kareem, obviously Shaq, Hakeem, Bill, Will, that 
minutes five. After that, I mean, Jokic has a case. I think obviously, you know, his career has to go a little bit longer. Like if he retires today, I don't think he's a top six center ever. But like we're just projecting, like yeah. he's only he's only gonna make more in all NBAs. He's gonna make more All Star teams. He's gonna have all these accolades. Like you know what I mean? Like so we're projecting. It's like he's up there with who? Like David Robinson, Moses Malone, those type of guys. It's like if he keeps going. He eventually wins another championship. Even if he doesn't win another championship, it's like all those accolades, all those stats, along with the championship and the finals MVP, it's like it's, it's going to be hard to keep him out of those top center of all time conversations. Yep. I have the list here of all the players who have won multiple regular season MVPs and additionally a finals MVP and a championship, obviously. Mm-hmm. Um, Kareem, Bill Russell, Michael Jordan, Wilt Chamberlain, LeBron, Moses Malone, Larry Bird, Magic Johnson, Tim Duncan, Steph, Giannis, and now Jokic. The same company. Very, very, (laughs) very elite and small group of players. There's Mm -hmm. a lot of phenomenal NBA players that have not and will not ever reach that combination. And he's only going to get better. Right. And he's, and he's just starting. Only 28. It's just, like you said, it's crazy how we, we literally had this same conversation with Giannis. It is, like, insane to see, but I'm so happy that it's both of these guys because they're, I'm, I just got a feeling they're going to be battling it out for years to come, and it's going to be, it's going to be so good to watch, bro. It's going to be so fun to watch. Oh, my God. I can't wait. But, yeah, I, I cannot. I, I would. If we ever get a Bucks Nuggets finals, oh I don't know. My, my life saving. <laughs> we, might, we might have to go to one of those. Yeah. <laughs> we, might have, we might have to take a trip to one of those games, bro. Man, that's good. And it's like two small market teams, two teams that were patient with their superstars. Two, I see two teams that didn't even know they really had superstars. They kind of stumbled upon <laughs> two of the best players in the league, but uh, they were patient, and it it paid off, man. It it paid off. It's it's great to see the basketball fan in me is like very excited. The Lakers fan in me is like scared to death. <laughs> like the Lakers fan in me is scared to death of what's about to come with these Denver Nuggets, man. But as a basketball fan, though, I would I would love to see like Jokic turn this into some sort of dynasty or just be a contending team for years to come. It'll be so great to watch.